Hi, welcome to Preschool Storytime from the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Ms. Shana. Today's story time is part of our Asian and Pacific Islander American Heritage Month series, which will be running from May 1st through May 29th. We'll be highlighting Asian and Pacific Islander culture, food, stories, and more. So be sure to follow LB City Library for all the latest programs this month. Today's story time is also very special because Mother's Day is coming up. So I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the traditions that we do in my family. So on Mother's Day, all the mamas get together and come over to my place and we usually have brunch and tea. So I thought we could have a little tea party together. If you'd like to go get some cups and make some tea with me with a grown-up's help, I would love that if you joined me. So I'm gonna start with my tea towel in case I spill. I'm gonna put this out here. And today I'm going to be making oolong tea, which is often a tea that is served when my family goes out for dim sum on special occasions. My husband is Chinese American, and so anytime we can get together with his family, we like to go enjoy dim sum together. Uh, so we're gonna put our little tea bag in our teapot here. And I have a tea kettle full of hot water. So make sure when you're making tea, you have a grown up helping you. I'm gonna pour that hot water right on top of my tea bag. Fill up the pot. And I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And while we're waiting for our tea to brew, we can do a song. This song is called All the Little Bunnies Sleeping. You can be the baby bunnies and you'll go to sleep down, down, down on the ground. And I'll be the mama bunny and I will sing you a lullaby. And when I tell you to wake up, you can jump up and hop around like little bunnies, okay? See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and help me wake them with this very special tune. Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up. Wake up, hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, hop, stop. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and help me wake them with this very special tune. Wake up! Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop, hop little bunnies, hop hop hop, hop little bunnies, hop hop hop, hop little bunnies, hop hop, stop! Very good little bunnies. Ooh, that was fun. Let's check and see how our tea is doing. Been brewing for a few minutes and I see a nice amber gold color. So I think it's ready. I'm going to be pouring you a cup of tea. In many cultures, it is a great sign of respect to offer tea to your loved ones. And so you always want to pour them a cup of tea first. So this one will be for you. Here you go. And now one for me. And when I'm turning my teapot like this, 
It's helping that tea mix up and getting all the flavor out. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Ah, that is some delicious tea. I don't know about you, but I am ready for a story. Today we're going to be reading Eyes That Kiss in the Corners, a brand new picture book by Joanna Ho and illustrated by Jung Ho. Eyes That Kiss in the Corners. What do you see? I see a living room in somebody's home. And I see a child here with her backpack on, looking in the mirror as she looks like she's about to head out the door. Maybe she's going to school. See a beautiful vase of flowers here. Some people have eyes like sapphire lagoons, with lashes like lace trim on ball gowns, sweeping their cheeks as they twirl. Big eyes, long lashes. Not me. I have eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea. My eyes are just like mama's. Do your eyes look like your mama's? I think I got my mama's smile and silly sense of humor. <laughs> mama's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea crinkle into crescent moons when she comes home from work. She scoops me in her arms, eyes sparkling like starlight, and tickles me until we laugh ourselves onto the floor. When mama tucks me in at night, her eyes tell me I'm a miracle. In those moments when she's all mine, flecks of dancing gold tell me I'm hers too. My mama is my sun and sky, and her eyes are just like a ma's. Amma's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea don't work like they used to, but she sees all the way into my heart and can even read my mind. Her eyes are filled with so many stories. I can fall inside them and swim until time stops. I see Guan Yin with the Monkey King sitting on a lotus serene. Bobbles of lychee on trees and mountains that reach for the sea. My Ama never ages and her eyes are just like Mei Mei's. Mei Mei's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea, blink against the window until I come home from school. They disappear beneath her two-tooth smile when I walk in the door. Look at her little two-tooth smile. She toddles after me, gazing up at me, like I'm her best present. I hope she looks at me like that forever. Because when she looks at me in that May May way, I feel like I can fly. May May's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea are just like mine. My eyes crinkle into crescent moons and sparkle like the stars. Gold flecks dance and twirl while stories whirl in their oolong pools, carrying tales of the past and hope for the future.
My eyes find mountains that rise ahead and look up when others shut down. My lashes curve like the swords of warriors, and through them I see kingdoms in the clouds. My eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea are a revolution. They are Mama and Ama and Meme. They are me and they are beautiful. The end. Now we're going to sing a song called M O M M Y. What does that spell? Let's find out. M M M M O O O Another M. Ooh, I see a word that spells mom. And if we add another mm -mm, M and a Y, that spells mommy. My son calls me mommy. I call my mom mama. What do you call your mama? Oh, that's really nice. Will you sing along with me? For this version of this song, which is to the tune of bingo, which you might know, instead of clapping, we're going to kiss our mamas. Mwah! Okay? I have a very special friend, and mommy is her name. Mo, M O M M Y, M O M M Y, M. O M M Y and mommy is her name. Oh. Flip this around to find one mommy. And remember, we're gonna kiss when we see a mama's face, okay? I have a very special friend and mommy is her name. Oh. O M M Y. O M M Y. O M M Y. O M M Y and mommy is her name. Oh. Now we got two mamas. One, two, right? We're gonna do two kisses. Here we go. I have a very special friend, and mommy is her name. Oh. M M Y. M M Y. M M Y and mommy is her name. Oh. All right, now we've got three mamas. So we're gonna do three kisses. Are you ready? I have a very special friend, and mommy is her name. Oh. M Y. M Y. M Y and mommy is her name. Oh. oh boy, we're getting quite a few kisses here, huh? Now we have four mamas. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to do four kisses? Okay. I have a very special friend, and mommy is her name. Oh. Why? Why? Why and mommy is her name. Oh. Are you ready to do all five kisses? Here we go. There's our last mama. I have a very special friend and mommy is her name. Oh. And mommy is her name. Oh, that was a lot of kisses. <laughs> this story is called If You Give a Mom a Muffin, and I dedicate it to all the hardworking mamas out there. If you give a mom a muffin, she's gonna want a cup of coffee to go with it. She'll pour herself one, then her three year old will come and spill it. 
She'll have to wipe it up. While she's wiping it up, she'll find some dirty socks. Woo! Finding the dirty socks will remind her she was supposed to do laundry. As she's putting a load of clothes into the washer, she'll trip on a pair of shoes and bump into the freezer. Bumping into the freezer will remind her she has to plan for supper. So she'll get out a pound of hamburger and look for her cookbook, 101 Things to Make with Hamburger, which was hiding underneath a big pile of mail. She'll see the phone bill, which is due tomorrow. So she'll go to find her checkbook, which is in her purse, which is being dumped out by her two-year-old. Then she'll smell something funny. She'll change the two-year-old. While she's changing the two-year-old, her phone will ring. Her five-year-old will answer it and immediately hang up. She'll remember she was supposed to meet a friend for coffee. Thinking of coffee will remind her that she was going to have a cup. So she'll pour herself some more. And chances are, she pours herself another cup of coffee, well, her kids will have eaten the muffin that went with it. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for story time. Make sure to follow LB City Library to catch the rest of our programs for Asian and Pacific Islander American Heritage Month. Happy Mother's Day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.